everyone, thank you so much for purchasing the Agi Clarity water filtration system, which works in conjunction with Agi Clarity. Today I'm going to show you how to put the filter together. And so first thing you want to do is pull out your manual, which should have come with your package, and turn to page 19. On here you'll see all the parts listed with the reference numbers which I will be referring to today. So first take out all the parts and we're going to look at the filters. So in this box, you'll find ceramic, the ceramic filter, which is part two. And this is the four earth layer filter, which is part number seven. And before you get started, you're gonna make sure you actually soak these filters in water for at least 15 minutes. So you're gonna go ahead and do that now, put them to the side and soak them in some water. In the ceramic filter box, you'll notice that there is a plastic bag and in here, are components number three and five. Three is the O-ring, five is the nut. So this is the O-ring and the nut for the ceramic filter. So you can set those aside, we'll leave them in just a moment. And this is the bottom tank and the top tank. So the top tank is component number four and you'll notice it's significantly smaller than the bottom tank, which is component number nine. So we're gonna set this one aside and focus on components nine to 13. This is number 10, this is the spigot, and on it are actually two silicone rings and this is parts 11 and 12. And this right here, this is part 13, this is the spigot nut. So to set the bottom tank up, you're going to want to take one of the silicone rings off of the spigot and make sure the other one remains on there tightly to the spigot end. And you just simply place the spigot through the hole, take that remaining silicone ring and put it on the inside of the tank. And you're putting it on the spigot and make sure it adheres to the bottom of the tank. Then you take the spigot nut and simply screw it onto the spigot clockwise. And again, you don't want to put too much force on here because you don't want to crack the bottom tank. And at the, at the same time, you don't want to have it too loose, otherwise it will get leaks. And there you go, that's how it sits. And you'll notice just above the spigot, there's a crack looking line. This is not a crack in the tank. This is simply part of the design. And so before you go any further, make sure you pour some water in here, just enough to the spigot to make sure that it is in fact leak proof and it's not leaking because if it is, you're going to have to take it apart make sure the silicone rings are on properly and that the spigot is on tight enough. And then you're going to find the biggest part of the white parts. This is component number 14 and this is the base. You'll notice that the, there's a wider edge that wider edge sits on your counter and the bottom tank just sits mostly on top like that. So next we're going to move on to the top portion of your filter. So this is component number four and your ceramic filter. So grab your o-ring and place it on the protruding end of the ceramic filter. You can spin it clockwise to help it adhere to the base of the filter. And then simply pop it through the hole in the bottom tank and grab that nut and begin to screw it onto the bottom of the filter. And make sure you're gentle with the ceramic filter because it does damage easily. So whenever you're hot handling, just be mindful of that. And again, spinning it on the bottom of the filter, not using too much force, not too tight, but not too loose, finding that nice Goldilocks position. There you go. And next we have the four earth layer filter and you're going to find component number six which is the plate and if you turn it sideways you'll notice that there's a wider end and a more narrow end grab that narrow end and it fits nicely on top of the filter and it just screws on clockwise and again not too tight you don't want to be breaking anything just until it stops you'll notice it kind of just clicks in and this is component number eight. This is the lid for the top, for the bottom tank, sorry. And it fits nicely like that. You wanna make sure that the white end sticks up above the tank, that it doesn't go inside the tank. That's done incorrectly. This is actually 
the proper way. Next, you just simply take the Fort Earth layer filter. It pops in through the hole on top of the lid of the bottom tank. Then you grab your top portion, which sits nicely on top. And last but not least, this is your lid, and it just sits nicely on top. To begin using your filter, simply pour some water into this top tank and let it filter through. And make sure you discard this first batch of water. But after that, you can start enjoying your Add to Clarity water. And for the filter, it's very common for the first couple batches to take about five to six hours. This is because the ceramic filter's pores are just beginning to open up. And after that, you'll have a much faster flow rate. Also, since this is a gravity-fed filtration system, it is very common for that last inch of water to take a few hours to filter through. If that's what you're waiting for, just simply add a couple more um, liters of water and it'll speed the process up. And you'll notice in a few days, or two to three gallons, your filter will begin to look something like this. There will be an orange film starting to build on the filter and this is absolutely normal. This is Add Your Clarity um, in action basically. It's trapped all the contaminants and the filter has just filtered them out. And so if this is beginning to happen, make sure you clean your filter with a damp cloth and not with too much force, very gently as it does damage easily. And again, so you want to do this every two to three days or every two to three gallons. If you don't, you'll have a much slower flow rate. And so with the replacement of this filter, you want to replace the filter every thousand gallons or every year. Whereas the filter on the inside, the four layer earth filter, that requires no maintenance, just needs to be exchanged every six months or 500 gallons. And that is everything for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you do have any more questions, please sure to contact us at support at waterliberty.com. We are more than happy to answer all your questions. Thank you. Mm -hmm.